Iran's foreign minister, Javad Zarif, saying Friday he would soon present a constructive plan aimed at opening informal talks on its nuclear program. Zarif's comments come less than a week after Tehran rejected a European Union offer to hold direct talks with the United States over reviving the 2015 deal. And just days after rockets hit an airbase in western Iraq housing American troops, an attack believed to be carried out by an Iranian-backed militia. Let's bring in Mark Dubowitz. He's chief executive of the Foundation for Defense of Democracies. Mark, thanks for coming in today. Uh, so uh, make some sense for us of this uh, switcheroo by Iran. First, they reject the European Union offer, and now they're saying, well, we'll make one of our own. What's, what are they up to? Yeah, Paul, they're up to their old tricks. I mean, they're setting the table for negotiations. Uh, they're very good negotiators. They certainly out-negotiated John Kerry and Barack Obama back in 2015. And they figure they can run the same playbook in 2021 against uh, President Biden and uh, Secretary of State Tony Blinken. So they're playing hard to get, but at the end of the day, they want back in this deal because it's a great deal for them. It gives them patient pathways to nuclear weapons and a whole lot of cash. All right. And their, you know, their, their line has been uh, they've broken out of, uh, of the deal and you know, enriching uranium to a higher degree than the deal. Uh, but they're saying, well, we'll go back to it as long as you lift sanctions and, uh, and unfreeze our assets and allow us to, to, uh, to, to get investment again. Is that, do you think that that's the position they will, they, they're still holding out for? You know, absolutely. I mean, the, the 2015 deal, again, gave them this industrial-sized nuclear program and near-zero nuclear breakout. And the key was they just had to be patient to wait for the key restrictions to sunset or disappear. And in exchange, the United States would lift the most powerful economic sanctions, and hundreds of billions of dollars would flow into the coffers of the mullahs. So it's a great deal for them. They want back in. They're playing hard to get. And they're hoping to extract even more concessions than they got from uh, Barack Obama and John Kerry back in 2015. Okay, now let's turn to the Biden uh, strategy to the extent that you can uh, detect one. What do you think they're up to? Because I'm getting mixed messages. On the one hand, uh, Anthony Blinken saying we want to strengthen and lengthen the deal. On the other hand, they're making concessions. I mean, they're letting uh, access to Iranian assets in South Korea, trying to let that happen, they're making concessions to the Houthis, uh, the Iranian proxy in Yemen. What, 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 how is, what's the thinking of the administration? Well, the administration's public goal, as you said, is to get a new deal, a longer and stronger deal. The idea is to go back into the original deal, lift these sanctions, entice Iran back to the table, and then negotiate longer restrictions, perhaps cover the missile program that wasn't covered in 2015, maybe get a few more inspection rights. But what I detect is a very smart political strategy to try and break the Republican consensus against a return to the JCPOA and actually try to peel off moderate Republicans and then isolate the so-called Republican hawks like Tom Cotton and others. And then say, look, you know, we've got our hawks, the IRGC, they're the Iranian hawks, but real sensible moderates are, are going to sign up to a, a new deal. The, the fundamental problem is, is that the old deal and any new deal suffers from the same fatally flawed architecture, which is to give Iran the, the right to enrich uranium and reprocess plutonium on its soil. That's the fissile material that Iran needs for a nuclear weapon. So any new deal that extends the sunsets is not going to solve the fundamental nuclear problem. Yeah, what, what, I, what I'm wondering about is how uh, a deal, certainly that the Republican moderates or the centrists you talk about are not going to go for something that's a, just a repeat of the, the 2015 deal. So uh, this means that they, the Biden negotiators would have to get genuine concessions out of uh, Tehran, either a much longer deal, much more intrusive inspections, maybe some limits on their uh, ballistic missile program, all of which Iran, Iran has resisted uh, all along. How are they? I mean, do you see any of that being something that they can get out of Tehran? Well, they might. I mean, I think what the Iranians will insist is that the United States lift all secondary sanctions, all statutory sanctions, and the U.S. primary embargo. If uh, Biden administration agrees to that, then it's then it's there's no deterrence to business going back into Iran. I think the Iranians learned from 2015 that they had made a mistake, that they had may have negotiated a very good nuclear deal, but there was still this web of secondary sanctions, particularly sanctions against terrorism and missile proliferation. It was going to complicate the return of business to Iran. They'll, they'll negotiate to get rid of that entire architecture of sanctions so hundreds of billions can flow back in. 
Well, but that isn't a further restriction on Iran. That's basically a greater liberation for Iran to be able to uh, to operate freely. I mean, how is that going to uh, divide the Republicans, or for that matter, even even win over some people like Robert Menendez and uh, Ben Cardin on the Democratic side? Well, the New Deal will have, you know, a few more years on the sunsets, better inspection rights, it will cover missiles. And then the Biden administration will say what the Obama administration said, which is it's this deal or war. And if you don't want to escalate against Iran in the region, you better take this deal. And if we free up this cash, maybe we can seduce the uh, hardliners of Tehran to become more pragmatic moderates and join the global economy. That's going to be the line. Obviously, I'm deeply skeptical of that of that sell. But that is going to be the attempt by the Biden administration. Look, Paul, I think that ultimately the Biden administration wants to, quote unquote, put the Iranian nuclear program in a box, though it'll be an ever expanding box as restrictions sunset, put it on the back burner and move on to other domestic and foreign policy priorities. They do not want to face down Iran in the next four years. And I think they're going to try to use a new deal to sell Democrats and even some Republicans on the merits of that. All right, Mark Dubowitz, thank you. We shall be watching how that plays out.